one of the great mysteries to human life is why human human beings only use 10 to 11 percent of their brain depending on you know how smart you are but you know uh scientists uh have always told us that you know at least their current theory is uh that the 90 percent of our brain that most human beings don't use it's like junk dna you know that stuff doesn't even matter that's that's what the type of bs they're trying to <laughs> persuade the masses or and some of the sheep will buy it but I always found it curious that, you know, we could only use 10% of our brain. I mean, why is it there? Why is the brain there? In, it, it has such a vast potential, but we only use 10% of it. And then I was thinking a, a long time ago, you know, what if that other 90% was unlocked? I mean, and they talk about the sixth sense. I, I can imagine what we would be able to do. Telekinesis, teleportation. Who knows what is possible? I don't think we can even fathom and with 10% of our minds what is possible when we use 100% of our minds. So I was thinking, you know, do you think it's possible that somehow, some way, our DNA, you know, was made in a way so we could only use 10% of our brain somehow? There was like locks or blocks of DNA. So what I want to do here is I want to go on Google Image. And I want to show DNA strands here. This is basically what the DNA strands look like. Okay, let me pop one good one up here. Uh, here here's a good one right here. This is a picture of DNA, how it works, okay? Um, here's another picture of DNA. And you guys are going to see where I'm going with this in a second. See a little spirals over there. And for the last and final example, here's a pretty good one, DNA strands, okay? And the reason I'm showing you this is I, w I have always told people everything is hidden in plain sight. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to bring up um, something that is around everywhere on the planet. And it's on the medical symbol. And it basically looks like this. Two snakes going around what's supposed to be a pole with some wings. And, you know, I'll find some other images here of it. And basically, what I'm trying to get at it is, you know, is this basically meant to tell us something? Like I always told you, everything's hidden in plain sight. So why is it that two snakes aren't, aren't every single... I mean, this is not anything religious. This is not any, you know, Muslim nations have symbols like this. Buddhist nations have symbols like this. Uh, they're definitely all over Western culture. So it, def it it defines the, you know, religion's barrier. So what is it there? And what I'm basically trying to tell you is we only use 10% of our brains. Uh, they have two snakes going around a medical symbol. And uh, if you go back here and look at our DNA, those two things kind of match, don't they? So like I said before, um, everything to me, it, w what am I getting at here? Well... This is kind of like a riddle, because I'm not going to tell you exactly what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at, you know, to a point is, why is that? Why are these DNA strands and those two snakes on the back of a medical... And I dare anyone in a medical community to come up with some BS and tell me why there's two snakes on there. You know, the same snake they talk about in the Bible, the same snakes they talk about <laughs> in the Quran absolutely amazing but i'm sure people will tell me this is all coincidental gary you need oh this is a good one you need medical help but then again they'll never be able to answer my question why is that and going back to my original point why is it we only use 10 percent of our brains i believe what i just showed you holds the key